but affordable health insurance seems to be elusive in our state, especially when it comes to small business owners. But why is this? Joining me now to talk about the efforts to possibly change that, Representative Tom Delnicki, good to see you. We appreciate your time from South Windsor. He's, of course, on Real Estate Insurance Committee. What's the deal? So we, it's great to be here. And I've got to tell you, this is not something new. Yeah. And I want to go back to 15 years or so ago when I was on the South Windsor Town Council, and we actually became self-insured for health care for the Board of Ed and for the Town Council. Okay. And my hope is we can do something like that here with this bill so that folks can actually afford the insurance. Now, it's amazing. The single individual premiums approved for 2023 went up I think it's like 13%. Yeah. And I want to say the small group went up about 8%. Inflation was 3.4%. So somebody's making some good money somewhere. Right. And I'd hate to call companies out, but I, I have this, this little <laughs> card. I, I walk around <laughs> and I start talking about it. Elevance, $6 billion gross profit last year. CVS, $8 billion gross profit. Cigna. 5.2 billion gross. United, 3.3 gross. So somebody's making money somewhere. Right. We've got folks that want to give their employees as a benefit to retain them health insurance. And we've had the brewers come to us before. Like the micro brews. Exactly. Because okay. yeah. believe it or not, they have a guild. So what this bill would allow uh, would be common interest organizations like the nonprofits. Nonprofits have such a tough time to try to get insurance for the folks that work for them. And you know how much work the nonprofits do for the state, and they oh. help us on so many, whether it's drug addiction, housing, so many other things. So having health insurance would help. Exactly. Because a lot of times, the nonprofits, they lose people, good people, to other organizations and to other jobs, and they lose them because they can't provide some of the benefits that the folks need so that they can live a decent life and they can actually have a sense of security. So this might not be apples to apples, but explain it to me if it's not. So years ago, Kevin Lembo, when he state comptroller, was pushing single payer very hard. Yep. And at one point, the insurance companies wrote a letter to Governor Lamont and say, look, you pull this off, we're out of here. We're going to leave. Are they weighing heavily on these decisions? Is that why we get the roadblock year after year on this, trying to get affordable health insurance in these concerns? Well, I, I want to say this, <clears throat> this year is a little bit different than okay. that. Because what Kevin Lembo was <clears throat> trying to do was to actually get everybody off and to take them all in. Right. This would be a group by group type deal. You'd have to have $4 million in assets to be able to start the company. Right. You'd have to have a stop loss to start the company, there would be requirements. Requirements that ensure that there would st be stability in an organization, a company like that to provide that so benefit. The what you're saying is the insurance companies wouldn't stand to lose that many customers no. under this model, which means maybe they'll be a little bit more amenable, do you think? And maybe, just maybe, they'll be a little bit more competitive and not ask for such high rate increases and come down and kind of say, well, you know, we really don't need to make $6 billion this year. You know, maybe three or four would be okay. Right. The, the point being, it's not a stick, all right? It is a carrot. It is an opportunity for organizations to band together and be able to provide their folks insurance at a reasonable cost. Would it cause a catastrophe to the insurance industry? No. I don't think it would. Wouldn't it just add people to their roles? I, I would think that conceivably there would be more people with health insurance because there's a lot of folks that go around without it. without it and they run into a catastrophic situation and what are they going to do? And, and that's the opportunity we have mm -hmm. because the exchange, the prices are pretty darn high, okay? Individual plans, the prices are pretty darn high. Yeah. Same thing when it comes to small size plans for some small businesses and even with larger businesses. Yeah. 
And we've seen those increases year after year above the rate of inflation. So I got about 10 seconds. What are the chances this moves beyond this? I've got my fingers crossed. This is something whose time's come. Yeah. And it's something that we need to do. And I'm going to do everything in my power to be there supporting it. And I want to say one other thing. Sure. We have Democratic and Republican House and Senate co-sponsors that are on that bill that see it as an opportunity to do something good to help these folks and to keep businesses afloat in Connecticut. Hopefully. We've got to leave it there. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure to have you on Face to Facts. We appreciate it.